Well, welcome to our YOLO study. Man, I just want to commend you on committing yourself to grow spiritually and to study the book of Ephesians over the next few weeks with us. We're calling this series YOLO, You Only Live Once. Because we only have one life and therefore we should maximize every moment that God has given to us. Uh, The Ephesian letter is fascinating. The first three chapters are foundational and doctrinal. And the last three chapters are applicational and help flesh out really the theology that is expressed in the early chapters. Um, The Apostle writes some of his most encouraging words in the New Testament here in the book of Ephesians. And unlike some of the other books of the Bible where Paul had to get up in some people's grill, had to lay the smack down on some folks for some crazy things they were doing, the book of Ephesians is just pure encouragement. It is a pure uh, delight and joy. It's encouraging. It's a blessing. Sometimes, you know, we have to hear the hard things. uh, And there's a role for that. But in the book of Ephesians, man, it's just pure encouragement. I want us to look today at chapter 1 because God has given us so many blessings. The theme of chapter 1 is our identity in Christ. It's who we are. And see, if we don't recognize and realize who we are in Christ, then we will never become who God has purposed for us to be. I love to think about the first chapter kind of in light of an experience I had a few years ago. My father-in-law called me one afternoon and he said, Ryan, uh, the state of Texas has some of your money. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he said, Ryan, the state of Texas has got this sum of money. Your grandmother sent you a sum of money when you were at the university, a cashier's check, and you never cashed it. Now, my first thought was, what in the world is my father-in-law doing looking at this weird website? But I was also grateful. And he said to me, he said, you have riches that you didn't even know that you had. Well, I claimed those riches as quickly as possible, and in reality, it wasn't that much money. But but I started thinking about our own spiritual experience. How many times do we have riches that we didn't even know that we had? We have resources that God has given to us, and we're not even using them. Uh, we feel bankrupt, we feel depressed, we feel sad, and yet God has given us this beautiful identity in Jesus Christ. Now, I want us to look today at four real quick things here in chapter 1. Number one, God has blessed me. God has blessed me. See, we shouldn't be depressed or discouraged. God has blessed us. Now, I know you don't have everything in your life that you want to have. None of us do. But you are blessed if you are in Christ. You are blessed. You are blessed. Uh, you're, if you have salvation in Jesus Christ... You have been blessed. You've been blessed. And we ought to act like we're blessed. Uh, When I was in high school, I was dating a girl whose grandfather was H.L. Hunt. He was the wealthiest man in the world back in the day. He was an oil man. And uh, he had a cute granddaughter that I really liked a lot in high school. And I used to go over to the grandmother's uh, mansion. Uh, Her grandfather had died by the time I started dating her, but... I used to go over to their, to their huge mansion, and we had a lot of fun uh, doing that. But, my, but I learned uh, later a little bit more about her grandfather. Her grandfather, literally the richest man in the world, drove an old beat-up black truck and took a sandwich and a lunch pail every day to the office. And he lived like a pauper, even though he was extremely wealthy. I, I wonder how many times in the Christian experience that we live like we're poor and destitute, but in reality we have so much. And the Bible says we are blessed. We are not only blessed, but we have been chosen. Uh, And if you look at chapter 1, verse 4, he says God chose us before the creation of the world. God picked you. And the Bible says all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. How do I know if I'm chosen by God? It's whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But listen, when you have salvation in Jesus Christ, you have been chosen by God. God picked you, and that means you're special. We've also been redeemed uh, in Christ. In Him, we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. Uh, That word redeem means to be purchased back. Uh, We were addicted to our sin, 
and Jesus paid the ransom. We were slaves. He purchased us back and he set us free. Again, the riches that we have in Christ. And then in chapter 1, verse 5, it says we were also adopted by God. Look at it right there in the, in the scripture. Uh, For he chose us in him, the creation of the world, to be holy and blameless in his sight. And then verse 5, he predestined us to be adopted as his sons through Jesus Christ, according with his pleasure and goodwill. And when God adopted us, he didn't make us his stepkids. He, he treated us as if we were his own. So to be adopted means to have all of the privileges and rights of sonship. Uh, needless to say, we have a lot to be grateful for. God has done so many great things. God has given us riches. Let's use every resource that God has put before us. Thank you.